Hi guys, I'm Domingos. I will show you how to use a new version of Massive Importer to integrate Maya and Massive. The new version is more stable and lets you integrate perfect. Let's jump into Maya. First, I will show you how to install the plugin. So, in the package that you got it, we have the Massive Import UI with and the Massive Importer .ml, the plugin. Select and drag in the Maya plugin folder. Let's replace it. I already have them. So now let's go in Maya and go in Window Plugin Plugin Manager. So you have our our plugin. If you didn't have, you could refresh it, and we can load it. If you click here in this green eye button, you can get the information about the plugin and the most important is the command. You can type email massive importer and press enter. You will have the we load in Tomaya. So here we have the cut sheet file and here will be delete our default agent and the range you can set to load the geometry and the material and you can load select agent only if you select the energy in here you can get it into Maya you will have the range of place the agent from start to end and you can use this range of value to place it uh, the minimum and max value you will take the first value here and the last here and the third here um, and you can update the animation or you can also delete instance to change something in the footage and, and the regular things you have the clear E button and the also the close button the clear E will clear all the field and set default and the close button will just add to you the, the Wii if you set any value here you have any value here by using the close button you can get your Wii back so to do that you need to copy this file here and let paste in the my mail command already have here but you can paste and Let's let all again and go to file, save it to shelf. I will set the name to massive import load unload UE. So let's press OK. Here we have our script. So now if I click here, my UE is showed with default value that I set before. If I click here, so we need to unload the plugin and again let's now load our call sheet file so as we have in the, our working directory that we exported from a double click and we have the path the default HNA and and the range it's okay so let's load the jumps in the RC material load select region so I got this warning because uh, the geometry is multi group but I just set to import a single mesh let's press OK uh, to get to this import a single mesh you need to go to file import let's open the import option and set the file type to object and scroll down and set the file type specification to sing single object and save and close now you can import object with uh, multi point groups as a unique object let's show our test view set the artwork text view here we have our agent if you go to outline we have our family group, our default agent name group, and all the geometry and the 
skylight here so if you want to change anything to be applied to the entire uh, actions like the shaders you need to do in this default action because um, the plugin will use the graphic node of this action to instance other action so anything you do in this action will be applied to all other action I will place just the 1 to 15 action I want to show you how to work this range I want to place it if you see it's too much fast uh -huh. you can delete the distance here ok all the adjoin is delete and let's place all 50 now and place it if you see the time is all fast and let's select the family the folder chain and the hide it okay and let's now select my camera and go to node at editor and set bigger let's set the near plane to 5 and let's minimize our window we have all, all the action so I will turn the joint off and uh, let's open the working folder ok we have let's find for the turn and drag into my scene ok it's the same um, ok we have our watch and the ground let's escape to frame 20 so let me show you another thing it's about the scale if you select the locator um, go to the channel layer editor you will have you will have this scale set for each engine so let me show you the other that have another scale so each engine in the scene have the proper scale got from massive now let's uh, show our window what I will do is update the animation by updating the animation I will get the, the simulation that was on in massive so let's update it ok it's in all the changes translate to center you can slide the timeline to update the simulation here we have our simulation port correct into Maya uh, thanks for watching me and hope you like it and integrating your production.